die. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for this. Oh no. Oh no. Welcome back to more CK3 multiplayer, where I've teamed up with a friend of mine, Guy, to try and conquer the Viking rulers in Britannia. Where we last left off, we had just won a great victory against the Kingdom of Jorvik, but the King of Strathclyde sadly fell in battle, leaving Guy's kingdom to his young son and heir. Hello there. We now need to pick up the pieces after a large war and plot our next moves to grow back stronger. But, of course, things are never that simple, as we're about to find out. Uh, yeah, the problem with Northumbria is that, yeah, they are really weak, but I think they've also, they're allied to, uh, they're allied to Jorvik, who are still quite strong. Yeah, I've just seen that. Like, you could declare a holy war as well for some of these counties, but they're just, yeah, you, you'd get battered, so. Despite our great victory against the Viking rulers in the north, they were still far too powerful. So I proceeded with my second plan, invade Wales. I'm gonna go take the Welsh. Stop raiding me, Scotland, for fuck's sake. Despite Guy's continuing problems with the Scotland raiders, my war in Wales was actually pretty easy and within about a couple of days, I'd actually won. So, great. Oh my god, Wessex is getting their shit pushed in. Are they? By who? Um, one oh that no. Count Hasty. It's. Oh no. Not Hasteen. Oh, Sam. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh no, guy. We will fight them somewhere. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for this. Can I murder him? I can't murder him until I'm 14. I can try, but I have a 5% success rate. Fact. I will still try. <laughs> I had a 50% chance rate on the last one. My spy master's pretty OP, so I don't know. He might do something. Our peace didn't last long then, and we had to once again rely on our ambitious murder schemes and shady diplomacy to pull us through another war. I will attempt to take the fight to them. How many soldiers have they got? Uh, 3,200. Oh, and they're all here. And they're all here. They're all... Retreat. Get to Mercia, if they can. Have you got any other allies? No. No, because I'm just one kid. Oh, well, just... Break your betrothal with me, and then find a really powerful ally quickly, because I'm already in the war. Uh, you're not going to like this, but you are <laughs> you are the most powerful ally I can make. <laughs> no, <laughs> just somebody, anybody that has soldiers, they, they've already, they, I mean, Jorvik's in the fight as well. Oh, so. no. I can, is... I can besiege them. You must, you must be able to make some allies. <laughs> You are yep. you're a du you're a you're a petty king. Oh, yeah. they're besieging you. What what are they trying to conquer? Your whole thing? Uh no, just kill Kudbright. My mm. my tiny little my county at the bottom. I'm tempted to let them have it, but I've got nothing left. No. Do not give in! As Guy battled back his invaders in the north, I once again wrestled with Jorvik in the south. Come on, Cantabria, fight for me. Have you got have you got no one that you can marry on the slide? Break betrothal. Let's start the process again. Find spouse. Uh just find some. Holland! Anyone. You'll do. Or what? Flanders. Yep. 2,000 men. Oh, that would be great. Get in here. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, for some reason, the army of, I don't know who it is. Cantabria. Right, start again. I've got a pet cat. This is going great. Uh, you're going to be called Mittens. I've taken the North Riding, and I'm now I'm trying to rally to your allies. 
If all of your ally, if all of us rallied, we, we <laughs> could potentially. Sam, look how many <laughs> soldiers we have now. <laughs> <laughs> Just through a little bit of diplomacy. <laughs> I'm so far in. I'm so so far in the the prestige debt. Uh, meanwhile, I've uh, I've actually left this war as a ruler to go fight in the tournament. So. Oh, okay. It's okay. We've got this. We've got this. Have we? Have we? Yes. Through the power of friendship and broken betrothals. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> Hello there. <gasps> we fucking we've shattered them. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. What's happened? Uh, I've been I've my uh, murder scheme has been uh, was was discovered by Yarl Iver. I tried to kill him. Oh and, no! Uh, it didn't work out. Push back those pesky Vikings, guys! Guys, please. What? <laughs> It looked like I was just making the charge on my own there. I was like, shit. <laughs> Holy shit, this Peppers Revolt's doing bits. <laughs> Are the peasants actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, they've even... Te well, they've they managed to... Because I took Jorvik, it looks like they were like, no, 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 we'll have that. So they've they've gone and done it themselves. Fair play, peasants. Things were appearing to go in our favour for once. But, as we know, that usually doesn't stay the case for long. Who's... I've got... Who are the first army, army of Venador? Oh, I've been declared war on. Orléans. Oh, by who? Fucking... The fucking Welsh! The... They've... They backstabbed you. They were my, my friends. Now with my own troubles to face, I had to rush back quickly to defeat the Southern Welsh invaders. How goes the war in the south? Yeah, pretty good actually. We've uh, we've already routed their main force, and now we were laying siege, but actually they've they've decided that they want to try and attack us. So. Yes! Yes! Well, victory well won! Fuck me! <laughs> With Guy's War finally won, I could look to settle my own war against the Welsh. However, despite Guy's peace, that didn't stop his ongoing Scottish raiding problem. <laughs> I see you. Do it! You can do it! Fuck off! Defend your, <laughs> defend your towns! <laughs> Men of the door, please do something. You did it. We got nine gold from winning that battle. <laughs> and we're going to spend six of it sailing to help you out. Come, she owns the Duchy of Angria. Holy shit. Okay, so my son is set to inherit parts of northern Germany <laughs> and the Midlands currently. Considering how disfigured your, uh, your first character was, your son isn't that bad. I know, and I'm kind of upset. None of my sons. Do you think my wife cheered on me? 
No, because you're... I'd say you're... What is it? Your third son looks... Uh, your second son kind of does. Your third son looks the most like you. Yeah, <laughs> he does, doesn't he? But your first son... Oh, no. I mean, he's got your... No, he... no, I don't think he... I don't think he does look anything like you. I just want to see, like, Sean Bean go through, like, strong of brow, what does it mean? And then suddenly it's like, my, my god. <laughs> Moving on from Guy's concerns around the legitimacy of his children, I started to notice how weak the Viking rulers had become and decided to launch an attack. Another county right for the taking. I don't like how Surya is getting, it's just only getting stronger at the moment. Why can't you just be like Jorvik and just die? I am of age. I am of age. Welcome to the game, finally, young. David, mm. David. Sir, how do you fancy your war? With who? Scotland. They have 3,000 men and they're allied to France, Ireland, Italy. Oh shit, I did not see their allies. Holy fuck. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. that's that is, that's fair enough. You're joking. Not another one? Do you want some good news? <gasps> yes. I killed one, uh, the Jarl of Jorvik. And with that, after my second assassination of a Jarl of Jorvik, the country descended into war again, as everyone scrambled to try and capitalise on the late Jarl's death. I'm going in. I must take just one piece of land from them. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's happened? Why are you, are you at war? I am. I'm at war with Jorvik, but everyone else is also at war with Jorvik. No! Oh no. Why am no, I... Not. Why is France here? Why is France fighting me? Oh, is Scotland... Uh, Scotland is at war, I think, for Jorvik. Oh no, sorry. The Sudri are, are trying to conquer Scotland. Oh, this is such a piss take. <laughs> we were literally fighting two completely different wars, two completely different people. And with that, we end this chapter here with Guy's armies shattered once again and kings and lords marching all throughout Britannia. Will we finally manage to beat Jorvik? Will there actually be a point where there isn't a war being fought? Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, comment your tips for us down below, because um, God knows we need it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.